the dollar. This banknote makes the world go round and is a standard measurement across the globe. Anywhere you go, people are bound to recognize the grand portrait of George Washington. But what is a dollar's value outside the US? Some countries like Norway and Australia are really expensive, while others like Afghanistan and Vietnam are extremely cheap. After spending 12 years traveling to every country in the world, I'm gonna share with you what $1 can get you in 15 different countries. And we begin in North Korea. We are going to take the Pyongyang Metro, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. Built in the 1960s, the Pyongyang Metro is one of the deepest underground metro systems on Earth. It takes more than three full minutes of standing on an escalator to reach the track, which is 360 feet below street level. We rode the Metro eight stops and I was stunned by what I saw. Lots of people wearing suits, carrying briefcases, and having the sternest look on their faces. I wondered where could they possibly be going? It only cost five North Korean won or less than one penny per ticket. I called two moto taxis to take us to the next spot. It's going to be our quickest way. Which one's mine? I don't know, what do you like? I want this guy. Okay. This cannot be safe, bro. Are you scared, bro? Yeah. <laughs> bro, this is crazy, man. Yeah, man. It's my first time in Venezuela in a moto taxi. Incredible, incredible. Scary as fuck to be riding on the freeway. Like seeing the street from this perspective is totally different than being in a car. Take a chunk. When you're standing in front of this pyramid, it is freaking massive. On any given day, there's tens of thousands of tourists here, but because of COVID, we have the entire pyramids to ourselves. It's such a special moment that will probably never happen again. A friendly guy approached me with his camel and I decided to hop on it to get some awesome shots. So we're getting on camels, man. I'm on top of the world right now. Mexico City is quickly becoming one of my favorite food destinations in the world. With over 20 million residents, the diversity of options has far exceeded my expectations and I just can't get enough. But some of the ingredients might have you at the edge of your seat. We're gonna get some grasshopper tacos, which are apparently really popular and famous to eat. And they don't sound that great, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna be better than they sound. Guacamole, grasshoppers, Oaxacan cheese, and spicy sauce. Wrap it all together, and there you have it. It's not as bad as you would think, and the grasshoppers actually give it a nice crunch. I'm here in Karachi. I'm getting a massage on the street for $1. Yeah. It actually feels pretty good. I feel very relaxed. I think I might stay here for longer. <laughs> so the question is, did he, are his hands clean? <laughs> I hope his hands are clean. Can you ask him in Urdu how long he's been giving massages on the street? Yes, I thought so. Seven to eight years. Wow. Kind of weird, but <laughs> feels good. New York City. America's biggest, busiest, and most expensive metropolis. A melting pot of cultures, languages, and ideas. For a city that never sleeps, there's one thing that every New Yorker needs to stay on top of, and that's the dollar sliced pizza. And yes, it's delicious. Quickly guys, I just want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, Rosetta Stone, the all-in-one program to learn a new language with confidence. Truth be told, I've been using Rosetta Stone since I was in seventh grade when I taught myself Spanish. ¿Te echas la siesta normalmente? Pues normalmente los viernes sí. And then I used Rosetta Stone again to learn Korean when I lived in Seoul. 한국에서 빨간 머리 봤어요? As someone who has traveled to every country in the world, I can't tell you how much of an advantage it is to know the local language or even 20 useful phrases. You feel more confident to approach strangers and make new friends. 
You feel proud that you can understand more of the culture and what is happening around you. Trust me guys, so many answers are in the language. The last few months, I've been using Rosetta Stone to learn Tagalog because that is Deanna's native language. I'm already able to speak to her family members a little bit easier. And because of that, I gain a lot of respect for even trying. Linggo ngayon. Linggo ngayon. Linggo ngayon. With Rosetta Stone Lifetime, you have unlimited access to their entire language library, giving you as many languages as you like, all in one place. There is no need to go to various resources or buy multiple books for each language you want to study. Right now, they are offering my subscribers a discount on the Lifetime subscription from $2.99 to $1.79 on the link below. All right, guys, let's get back to the story. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to get a haircut and I'm almost guaranteed that the guy is gonna mess it up because it happens every single time. Let's go. Look, look, like this. Same thing. He's gonna mess it up for sure. So dirty. <laughs> Okay. okay, I'll get you a tip. Okay. Thank you. So I wanted to try one street food here in Damascus and my friend took me to get Manaish, which is right in front of me and we're gonna see how it's made by this guy. So what are you gonna order for me? <laughs> I can't read that. Make me the best thing that you can make. Okay. How many years have you been making this? Since uh, 1998. 1998, amazing. And he told me that he's the first person to make this dish on the street. So long story short, this guy has the system down to a science. Thank you, my friend. Fresh off the press, let's try it. Very good. It's kind of like a Syrian quesadilla. There's like melted cheese inside and this salsa with pepper thing and tortilla. Oh, so good. Smoking shisha or a water pipe is a staple activity around the Middle East. Every time I've been to Kabul, which is five times, I like to visit this shisha shop and take in all the beautiful culture around me. Because everything failed, so we need to go to Circle K. Okay, so the magical Circle K, we are here. Norwegian sausages are found everywhere, and Circle K has the best ones. That, that's what I'm talking about, those kind of low prices. This is so tiny. Oh my god. But good. Very tasty wieners, and definitely the cheapest meal that you can get in Oslo. Time to get a haircut in Central African Republic. <laughs> I've gotten haircuts in dozens of countries and it's always a unique cultural experience. This one ranks at the bottom. He kept using the buzzers the wrong way after I corrected him several times. Well, that was definitely an interesting haircut. I have like half of a mustache, but hey, it works. What do you think? You think it looks okay? Is it? Yeah, it's okay. It's cool. I have like half a mustache, but I think it's okay. <laughs> it's not the best, it's not the worst. Yeah. Somewhere in the middle. Next meal we have satay, which is one of my favorite foods in Southeast Asia. What is satay, man? It's basically skewer, mm -hmm. yeah, with chicken. And they're cooking it right here on the side of the street. Literally, this yeah. is the definition of street food. There's cars passing by, he's waving at the smoke. Satay is so simple, yet so delicious. I could probably eat 30 of these things and still be hungry. Good. So you can just smell the smoke of this chicken and it just looks so delicious. Let's take a bite. Gotta get that sauce in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. That peanut sauce is the kicker, man. Chicken that's grilled to perfection, dipped in this peanutty sauce, garlic flakes. Taking an Uber here is the best way to get around. It's much cheaper and safer than those purple taxis. This 10 minute ride is literally 88 cents. 
Okay, we have sat down at a restaurant here right on the side of the road and they have the fresh fish. I just told them to give me the most local Burkina Faso food and that's what they're giving me. It's like black like peas with tomato sauce and yes. fish. Sure, I'm down. Sounds good. Okay. Make sure you always wash your hands before eating and then the meal is served. Some of you might think I'm crazy for eating oily street food here, but the truth is, I've built up quite a tolerance over the years of eating it, and if I do get sick, then oh well, it's still worth it. It's really good. Yeah. I need to wash it down with some vodka like a true Russian. We found this really cool underground bar. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> there you have it guys. Now you know what one US dollar can get you in 15 different countries. I hope this video inspires you that travel is cheaper than you think. So get out there and see the world. Let me know in the comments below which country was your favorite. And with that all being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm Drew Binsky and thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel in the bottom left if you want to see more adventures from every country and in the bottom right you will find my second channel which are bonus travel stories that have never been seen. Lastly, on that middle link I'm giving away for free my best flight hacks. Until next time, stay safe, be spontaneous, and just go.